Hello, welcome to this quick tutorial video on how you can make your game launchers standalone executables. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this with the Game Launcher Creator V2. It's going to launch it up. We're running on version 1.37 here at the moment. All right, so let me just quickly do a new project on a template. Let's do Swordcraft. I'm just going to do standalone test. Put that in. All right, so uh, what do we need to do? Um, we need to, once you finish your launcher, I'm not going to bother doing anything to this, but once you finish your launcher, um, you've got a build launcher as you normally would. Put in your launcher file name there and then just click on build. And once Game Launcher Creator has successfully built your launcher, uh, we're going to use WinRAR to pack it up into a self um, extracting executable. And what this means is um, it'll pack up the launcher and all the files that need to go with it into one executable file so there we can see it's built now so if i run this there's the default splash screen you can change that by the way uh, and there's our launcher so as you can see we have a data folder here which contains all the files for uh, the launcher so how do we do this it's really really easy uh, you need to go to um, just Google WinRAR and download WinRAR. Uh, there's a free trial that seems to go on forever and ever. Uh, once you've downloaded and installed that, you might need to restart your computer. I'm not too sure because it comes up in the context menu here. Um, but yeah, once it's installed, uh, you just select your files like so. Right click WinRAR and uh, just add it to an archive. So I'm just going to add it to build.raw like so. And here is our archive so inside here you can see we now have launcher and the data folder with all the files so what do we do to compile this into an executable it's really easy this this sfx button here you can just click on that or you can do it from here tools convert archive to sfx um, so it's going to ask you which uh, type of one you want um, you're better off probably just sticking with the default bot sfx now don't just click ok because that's going to do it with all the default options you need to click on advanced sfx options here and um, once you've done that it's going to ask you you'll be able to customize a few things uh, like path to extract to and all that kind of stuff uh, but for this uh, tutorial i'm just going to show you how to do it so that when the user runs it it'll unpack all the files to a temporary directory it'll run the launcher and then when you close the launcher it'll remove the files so if you click on setup it's going to ask you what program to run after extraction so we want to run launcher.exe so we simply type in launcher.exe uh, you can do all sorts of other things here uh, wait and return exit code and all this kind of stuff uh, modes unpack to a temporary folder that's what we want we don't want an optional question or title in there um, and we can just click on hide start dialog so it's in silent mode uh, advanced files to delete in a destination folder it's a bother with that module license uh, you can enter a license in there if you want you can also change the title of the window uh, you can also change the logo as well what's going to be used in windows you just select the logo from the file there uh, the icon there and this logo is a, a, a jpeg or whatever uh, and then update you can see update mode extract and replace extract and update uh, fresh existing uh, files only you can choose whatever you want for these settings um, it's entirely up to you um, you can do overwrite all files um, and you can do extract and update so we click ok and we click ok again and we are done you can now see that we have a build.exe so now what i can do is this build.exe i can just give this to my friends um, if you're running a 5m community or something like that you can just give them this to download uh, and as soon as they run it, you can see that it comes up with that and then it runs the launcher. Now, just a couple of things. You'll notice that when they run that, it comes up with this dialog where it's extracting. Um, if you don't want to show that, you just delete that build. Reopen this. Click on SFX. Go back to advanced options. See, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do it all again. Mods, unpack to temporary folder. I'm going to hide all. If you do hide all, it won't show that dialog at the start there. LC file, let's just do overall files. There we go. And there we go. All right, 
right so now when they run build.exe it just goes straight into the launcher um and obviously the the standard user won't be able to access these files obviously you can find these you know your, your data files if you dig deep um but yeah i mean it's a standalone executable now so basically you can just distribute um that one executable file there um you can change the icon and everything from the settings that i've shown you but you can see how easy it is uh, to convert your launcher if you don't want to be uh, distributing it um with the data folder then that's absolutely fine um i would recommend though if you are using game launcher creator for um, game development or your own game development or your own app development then i would um stay away from this just install this with your game or your software um so it's so it's there's a hard copy installed um if you use this method of using the standalone executable it's kind of a portable launcher so you won't be able to update your launcher whereas if you install it to the user's computer um you will be able to um update your launcher files uh, especially with aops um but yeah that's pretty much um that pretty much covers that topic really easy to do uh, any questions don't forget to fire over uh, those questions into our discord server and no doubt someone will be able to help you even further